Sci Girls is excited to participate in December. 31 days of STEM fun for the whole family. December was created by Girl Start and includes hands-on activities and videos like this one to promote STEM fun. You can participate online at December.org. Hi, my name is Sarah and I work on the PBS Kids show Sci Girls. Our show features real girls doing real science and engineering projects. Check your local PBS listings to see when it's on in your area or you can watch all of our episodes online. Here's a preview of what you'll see when you watch a Sci Girls episode. You want some help? <gasps> Look, you get to build an underwater robot. Oh, I am sure glad my Sci Girls have gone mobile. We got a fishy situation and we need some help. So how are we supposed to figure out if these oyster reefs are actually working? We get to film an underwater robot. Oh, it's a blue oh, whale! Whoa! I think there's a way that we can improve non-slip footwear. I play apps all the time. I never even dreamed that I would be able to make one. Our question was what kind of impact Canary Island Palm had on our ecosystem. Let's suck some bugs! We are building a shanty and testing what kind of insulation we want to use. We have a community garden and we were wondering if we can keep a beehive there. This is like one of the coolest experiences I have ever had. A crime has been committed and it's up to you to solve it. You're going to be doing the testing on this evidence. Eco-friendly ice cream maker that's powered by your feet. It is. Just a sec. No, this is not right. You're doing too many things at once. Can I have your attention? Because I think you need to check in with the Psy Girls. Psy Girls, we need you. Never gone into one of these before. Psy Girls, little mouse, big problem. What have you got for us? My friends and I, we ran across a little disagreement. Oh, that is not ice cream. I'm nervous. What if something goes terribly wrong? It's not working. Can I oppose that idea a little bit? It's not a direct hit to you. It's a direct hit to your idea. They would feel a little bit frustrated, a little bit discouraged. What are you so talking about? We got this. We're freaking out, but we know what we're talking about, and we know all the facts. <laughs> Look at it on paper and then to see it like right out there in the world, it's really a great feeling. It tastes like a satisfaction. I was like this the whole time. Yes, we got a promotion. I feel really happy that everything worked. Ah! Yes, it worked. Yes. Yes. This whole experience was just awesome. Behold the queen of the forest. Whenever you come together with a team, you can find an answer to any question. And I think it really brought us even closer together. We found the man. Make sure you also visit our website at pbskids.org slash scigirls where you can create your own avatar, upload science projects, and play our great science and engineering games. Today we're going to have some fun with nanoscience. First, let's talk about what that word means. So a nanometer is one billionth of a meter and that is really 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 tiny. If you think about a football field there are almost but not quite a billion blades of grass on a football field. A billion is a really really big number and so one billionth of a meter is really really tiny. Engineers and scientists study things on the nanoscale to learn about how to create new technologies technologies that work better, technologies that are tinier. Because when atoms and molecules are really tiny, they take on lots of different properties. Today we're going to look at a specific property of color. So when you blow soap bubbles, have you ever noticed how the colors look like a rainbow? Let's see if I can blow some soap bubbles and we can see some of those rainbows. Did you see any rainbows? Well, those rainbows are called iridescence. So we can make some iridescent art. It's a really easy activity you can do at home. You just need a few things. Here's a small container, some clear nail polish, an eyedropper, some black construction paper, and some water. 
So the first thing you do is you take your water and you're going to pour it in your container. All you need is enough water to cover your paper. So now I'm going to put one of my pieces of paper in the water and you want to make sure that it's fully submerged all the way down. Then you're going to get your clear nail polish and you just want to put one drop of nail polish on the water. You want to make sure that it's not hitting the paper, that it's just sitting on top of the water. Here we go. And then you're going to lift your piece of paper up out of the water and the film will just lay on top of your piece of paper. So now I want to set this aside to dry. Here's one that I did a little earlier. You'll see that it's dried and it's got that same rainbow quality. It's iridescent. Have you seen this kind of iridescence other places? Think about what um, a pool of oil would look like on a parking lot. Um, or butterfly wings as well. That's a good example. So if you want to figure out if something is actually iridescent, there's a really easy trick to do. Let me show you with my peacock wing here peacock feather. Let me show you with my peacock feather. So here I have a peacock feather. If you want to try this out at home, you can actually get the peacock feather um, at a craft store. They're really easy to find. People use them in decorating. So I've got a peacock feather and then I've got just um, a container of water and once again I have my eyedropper. So what I'm going to do is I want to see if this blue part in the middle of this peacock feather is iridescent. So I'm just going to take a drop of water and drip it right where I want to test. And if it's iridescent, it'll change colors. Let's see. Yep, my peacock feather changed from blue to green. So that means it's iridescent. And what's happening on the nanoscale, <clears throat> the nanoparticles are separated by teeny tiny spaces. So when I put a drop of water on top of it, that water fills up the spaces and it changes the color. Let's check and see if something else is iridescent. Here I've got a mask and I've got some, there's some green feathers on this mask and they kind of look iridescent. I want to see if they are. So I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take a drop of water and then put it right where I want to test. And you know what? This time it didn't change colors. So that means that this is not iridescent. It means that it's colored by pigment, which is just a different way that different um, things get their color. Pigment. Different things get their color. So that's just a couple of activities that we have. You can find lots of activities that you can do at home with your families if you visit our parent site at pbskids.org slash parents slash scigirls. And then also we have lots of other activities for educators and parents on lots of different science and engineering topics at pbslearningmedia.org. Thanks for watching and have a happy new year.